Okay, just uh, wanted to make a little quick video update. Still like one more piece of plywood in between there, but I'm getting the plywood in the building. Um, just wanted to talk about the heater. Got this little heater. It's uh, it's lined with brick on the inside on the bottom half where the fire is uh, normally creates problems with these kind of heaters. So it's uh, Fisher is where, who it's made by. Uh, really good little heater. My son had it in his basement. And somebody had put fire logs in it, so I'm going to pull them out and start burning wood in it again. One thing that's weird is I just don't know if these things had 8-inch flues on them. Um, it's kind of odd, but I'm going to probably come out, do one stick of pipe up, and then maybe go into a 6-inch um, and then go on out the ceiling with it or the roof. Um, it's going to be about 17 foot up to the top up there to go out through the roof. So we'll get that done and I'll get heat off of the pipe going up through there too. And I'll get heat off of the uh, stove. The reason I like this little stove here is, is I can actually cook on top of it. Uh, I can took and take and put a pot of beans on there, pinto beans, and then put some cornbread in a Dutch oven. And I can cook the beans all day long. And then when I get ready to do the cornbread, I can throw it in there, let it set on there, you know, maybe 30 40 minutes somewhere right in there and it'll cook cornbread. I don't know. We'll just have to kind of keep our eye on it and see how it does, see how much heat's coming up off of it. So uh, we got that done. We got um, we got all the light switches pulled. We got our power pulled into here. Got two switches. Uh, I got three light, I mean six lights on one side of the shop there. Uh, there's one behind that door and then I put six lights on this side. There's one behind the door and one up above the door here. Uh, got the lift, like I say, wired in, got all that. I went ahead and when I did the lift, I'm gonna go ahead and pull receptacles and put them on the walls too. But um, There's a set of bank of receptacles there that has a uh, piece of, I think that, I took and brought a number 10 wire down here to these receptacles too because the wire that came over here going from the box to over here, all of it was number 10 because it needed a 30 amp breaker. So I'm going to go back up to that box up there, catch in there, and then I will branch out and I will go out that truss there and go down and I will have receptacles. A bank of four receptacles there, a bank of four receptacles there. There'll be a bank of four receptacles here. It'll be a box just like behind me and another one there and another one there. Uh, and then I'll probably hang some out right there on the side of this door here. Um, that way I'll have, I don't know, may not do them there. May just do them here. And now on that post and that post and then go to that post and one more right there where that level's hanging. And this wire will be big enough over here to, uh, to handle even if I'm using two of the receptacles at the same time. I'll probably just throw, go ahead and uh, throw a um, 30 amp breaker on it. It's a single pole 30 amp. That way I don't have to worry about if two of them's being used at the same time, the wire will be big enough. So, but yeah, uh, we got that all wired in, got it all tied in. Uh, like I said, when you're letting down the lift, I don't know if I explained it the other day, but when you push in on this side here, there's a cable on the other side that unlocks the other side, which is pretty neat because you can just you don't have to try and go unlock that side and then come hold this side. Uh, this is a 10,000 pound lift, extra high, extra wide. Um, let's see, I don't, let's see, the tag's right here. Let's see if you can see the, there's the model and the capacity. There it is. But uh, 
We brought, got it from Greg Smith's. Uh, like I said, it's an atlas. It does have the bar on the top to stop the lift if once the cab of the truck hits it. You'll never have a car on here that will ever, even my truck won't hit it. And my truck's pretty tall. Uh, my truck's uh, probably about 6'3 from the ground because I'm 6'2 and I, it's a little bit above my head. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show the progress. We got some of the plywood up. Uh, we, like I said, I'm going to do some more electrical here before long. Uh, I bought more plywood to do the rest of it. Uh, we're probably going to run to somewhere around this post here where that bag's hanging. We'll stop and we'll, we will uh, go ahead and build our building that we're going to build in there for, for uh, all, all of our tools, all of our stuff that's normally just hanging out in the middle of the floor. Uh, it will go to where this plywood here stops. So it'll go all the way 30 foot down this way and it will come out 13 feet and there'll be a bathroom over in this direction. Uh, probably put a, there'll be a shower there. There'll be sinks. Uh, this will be two stories high. So there'll be a set of steps that will come out of this room, go up this way and then come up this way. And uh, then you'll be on the second story. So it'll be a two story, it's 14 feet. So I'll make both ceilings, probably the downstairs ceiling, maybe about Mm, seven six and then the upstairs be like six four um won't need as much headroom up in the upstairs i do want it high enough that i don't hit my head oh but uh yep yeah, it's coming along um we'll get in here uh i do have a place here for my wire to go out for my ham radio um they'll i, I just ran it as high as the piece of pipe was it'll be cut off i'll have the antenna running out there um there is a uh, wire that has to go out there because i'm going to put a night light on the same post uh probably it's going to be one of the telephone posts i got laying outside uh there is a wire i mean a pipe here coming in not for wire but for water to come in so that I don't have to worry about trying to get the water in. It's down underneath the ground. It won't be able to freeze. Like I said, this whole thing will be um, pretty much that whole cube here. These three cubes here will be uh, rooms. That way when I get through, they will be toolboxes. Run all the way around those uh, bottom of those walls. They will be some shelves put in. They will be... Uh, uh, hangers put up on the some of the uh, posts up high uh, back there and on the sides uh, these walk boards will end up going up on them and be hooked up and just be hanging on the side of the walls um, we'll probably come in this area here right where my generator is now I'll probably box out a little room right in there um, that uh, my compressor will be up inside uh, it won't be a really big room, maybe a four by four by four room. Just big enough for the compressor to be in. And uh, I'll probably put some vents to the outside so it can pull air from outside. And we'll get, um, we'll get all of it done and we'll take, and I don't know, I may put a lever door on that one, keep from having to worry about it freezing. But uh, we'll get it all pulled up here and get all the plywood on and I'll get this back room built and like I said I'll get this uh, heater fixed up and get it vented out and then I'll make another video but right now this is what I'm doing I'm not going to go any higher with plywood because uh, I still have the two by sixes to hang anything I want to hang from and the plywood is up this high in case um, a tool gets uh, you know somehow get slung across the room or something and hits the wall it won't hit the wall or if uh if we're uh you know doing something and somebody throws a tool to somebody and it 
they miss catching it. It don't hit the wall and tear my insulation. I've got one little tear in it so far. The uh, guy right there did when he was pouring the floor. He had his handle on a little rake thing and hit it. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. Um, we've got to get in here and get, uh, like I said, some toolboxes over here. And I'm going to take, and like I say, put a one by, like a deck board. Go in here and put a deck board across the bottom there. That way it'll be somewhat of a little curve. So that when, if uh, things do hit up against the wall, it won't hit the actual wall. It'll hit the curve first. And we'll be getting it along. I'm just taking my time. I did use these little clips that you can use for OSB. Uh, you have to get this special ones for, this is 7 sixteenths plywood. There's actual couple of different sizes, 5 eighths. Uh, you have to get the specific one for the plywood that you're using. But uh, it makes it to where in between the um, um, boards there that here I'll walk down here and I'll show you. Um, there's such a, a large amount of room in between here that if you uh, look, it can actually move. So if you get two pieces butted up, you don't have some way of fastening them mechanically. Um, one will push out over the other one and then you'll have one sticking out further than the other. And it will bow. It will start bowing in between the two boards. You'll get a cupping. So um, it locks them down and you can see it locks them down pretty nice. I mean, you don't have any, any cupping at all. I don't understand why the lines are not matching up because I cut every piece from the same the same side. Um, I actually took and took the whole uh, pile of uh, plywood just like it's sitting here. And I went through and I always cut from this side here. And it all came off of the pile at the store. This all came off a certain way and it stayed the same way. And I would pull three of these out at a time over this way and cut them off. And why the markings on that? And it's weird because even some of the markings on some of the plywood that I got at Home Depot, um, there's more lines on some of them than there are others. It's really hard to, well, you can see it right here. Like this sheet of plywood here, the line is way down here instead of going straight across but all these lines line up. So I don't understand it. Some of this marking on this stuff, I don't know what they're doing. And then some of the lines don't go all the way. Uh, I don't know if it's the way the machine's setting it up, but like them, the lines didn't go all the way. Uh, I had a couple of other sheets, the lines didn't go all the way. Some of the uh, pieces over there, um, they were totally off. Like that sheet right here is totally off. But then that one lined up. So don't ask me. I don't understand it. Like that one in the corner here. But the lines don't go all the way on it. And they're off. Um, but I ain't worried about it. There are going to be shelves and all that put in here and toolboxes sitting around anyway. Um, all right, well, if there's anything that you see and want to ask a question about it, uh, like I said, they they um, got my floor done. I wasn't going to lift the car up on it for a while, but we went to drill the holes and the dang um concrete was so hard, it took us a while to get through the, to drill the holes. So I figured if it's hard enough that we couldn't get the the get the holes drilled through the concrete, it ought to be you know good enough to pick up a truck with. So, all right. Well, y'all have a good one. And like I said, if you see anything that you want to ask questions on, just ask. Y'all have a good one.